In the beginning of the season, you know, we always have a, a team meeting and discuss our themes for the year and something that we're going to go by and believe in strongly. We have this theme this year that we're one, and um, I, th I love that. The links represent us as players joining together as one team. In the years past, when Miami was successful, we had to have incredible performances by one or two people, and the rest of the people just kind of helped and facilitated it. But I just felt like we were very balanced. We needed to bring that more to the center. In the media, you may see Momo, but at the end of the day, it's not two against five. It's, it's a whole team, and it takes all of us, and we have to be one in order to make it work. If we want to go to the Final Four, you know, even win, we got high goals. We can't, like, there's not a chance that only one or two players can do that for us. So it's not all about hinging on performance of one or two players and to get that message through and to let them know that you turn to your left or you turn to your right and there's still a strong person next to you. I think it's been very important. I want you guys to celebrate a hustle play. I want you guys to go across the court and give Sill a high five when she takes that big charge. All five of you, show Maryland that we are together, that we are strong. There's a lot of trust that goes into building a team. And so each person was able to decorate their own link, their own carabiner on their own way and be themselves, put their own words on it, put their name, whatever symbol, word, something, what one means to them. My tackle, it's uh, one who cannot fail. On mine, I wrote one pulse. It's a greater compliment to be trusted than to be loved. And I truly believe that. I think you throw the love word, I love my team, I love my coaches, blah, blah, blah. But do you trust them? I mean, when the game's on the line or if you're hanging off the side of a mountain, did you trust that they nailed in that spike for you to hook up to or not? I feel like you have um, this foundation that's like at the top and like pulling these, um, I would say mountain climbers up along with us. You have like the coaches and everybody like pulling us up and you know, getting us to come along. At the top of the mountain is like our goal for like the year. We don't have to all be the same in order to be able to trust each other and I think that's really the whole the whole idea behind the linking up and being one. By linking up together every day before the game, um, that's just like one more step up the mountain. We're very excited for the Maryland game. We came together like, alright, this is the number five team. They have us in size, but they don't have us in courage or heart. You know, when you link up and you talk about unity, and even the weak become strong when they are united. When you immediately think of, we're only as strong as the weakest link, and that cliche, I honestly think that the linking up is for the, for the, the seniors and the stars, too, the All-Conference, the All-Americans. They need that. They needed pressure off of them as well. So it wasn't just about, let's bring up the weakest people on the team, but let's support the strength of this team, too. Let's let them sometimes have an off night this year. We're good enough. They can handle that. Denise Johnson, guarded by Thomas. Over to Pepper Wilson, who's checked in, drives to the basket, left hand, layup is good. Maryland has a ton of respect for Shanice Johnson, and they know how, how key she is to our success. So they were trying everything they could to take her out of the game. But you can never take Shanice Johnson out of a game. She's too much of a competitor. You can maybe limit her touches and limit her scoring ability, but she'll get you. Johnson gets the rebound over to Stroman. Fuck it, and the foul! And so what we did, we just had to make the extra pass. And it was a one. We really were cohesive that day. It took all of us that night. It took all of us that night. Whether it was six points, whether it was, you know, um, you got that shot or a small, you know, pep talk or whatever it was that helped somebody. It took all of us that night. Shanice, after Maryland broke her double-figure scoring streak, which was the longest scoring streak in the nation, I think it was 84 games or something, where she had at least scored 10 points. Really an impressive streak, and um, for her to not get even double figures in Maryland, I wanted to come to her and just let her know that for that scoring streak to be alive is amazing. The fact that it ended but we won is just, it was bittersweet. I remember that moment. She, was, she said, uh, Katie said, our coach said, um, we never would have been able to do this without you. And um, we never even would have won a game um, with you scoring six points a year ago. I said, this is how far this program's come. We can be the top 10, top five program, and you don't have to score in double figures. Do you realize what you've done for Miami? Do you realize how good you've made this program? This is a compliment to you. And I wanted to get that message to her. I think it's just a result of hard work more than anything. Katie Meyer putting all the pieces together. 
you know, the day that I play bad and we still win, I never thought that would even happen, ever. Um, and it's not just about me. And that's how the links come in. It's not just one individual, or it's not just one person scoring 30 points, one person scoring. Like, it takes a group of, you know, fine young women to come together and band together in a moment of adversity to those Maryland, you know, Terrapins. And um, so I'm like, this is our house.